beautiful people welcome back to another episode of the good days podcast how are you doing today it is technically hump day so yes hope you guys are enjoying your hump day hope you guys are staying blessed drinking enough water and forgetting the rest yes so we're gonna get into it today Yes, so let's dive into today's episode. Gather around the fire, we need to have a talk. I know hearing the words, we need to talk, can be very scary. But we need to have these talks with ourselves. And these talks that we need to have are little pep talks. And I try to give myself a kind word when I wake up because That is how I want to start my day. And with me giving myself a, you are beautiful, you are special, you are unique, you are creative. Telling myself, girl, you're going to have a great day and believing it to be true. Well, oh yes, I'm going to have a great day. And yes, I am beautiful. I am unique. I am creative. And I think we should always give ourselves a pep talk before we are about to do something. And it was something that I was looking at on Instagram. And Lala said it. Lala Anthony, if you guys don't know who she is. She's a phenomenal woman. But she said that most of us do not give ourselves enough self-validation. We're always expecting compliments from other people. And it's true. Sometimes we need to tell ourselves we are beautiful, we are unique, and we are brave, we are strong. And these little pep talks that we give to ourselves can help us grow in so many ways. So yes, I want to talk to you guys about giving yourself a pep talk. And I know I can't be the only one that stares at themselves in the mirror and have a full-blown conversation about something on their mind or something that might have happened. And if I am, I think you guys should try it. Face yourself in the mirror and talk to yourself in a way a friend would. Find your answers by just being in that moment. Nowadays, I have to talk to myself like I'm talking to my friend. I have to say, hmm, does that make sense of what you said? Or sometimes myself, be, I will say, girl, you said the right thing. You had, to, you had to cut the ties. You had to burn the bridges. You had to let people know that there are certain boundaries that you can't cross. And when in that moment when people feel that they have to give you that, oh, I'm going to do you what you do me, you just have to take the high road. When they go low, you go high, period. So if it's too much for you and you can't do it, that is fine as well. No pressure. But what I want you to do is to try to give yourself a little boost of confidence each and every day. Complimenting yourself is the key for peace and happiness. It sure is. It's the key to all my peace and all of my happiness. So I just want to give you a short story, just a quick story. So I'm going to give you an example of how pep talks will try to save me. And sometimes I don't listen. So I was seeing this guy and I wasn't sure about him. I just didn't know what it was, but I knew in my heart something was off. So I went out to meet a friend. We haven't seen each other in so long. And after we had dinner, this guy had reached out to me to see if uh, we could meet up. I was hesitant because I wasn't sure if I really wanted to meet up with him or if my conscience was just being activated telling me to take my ass home. So being hard-headed, I decided, why not? 
I said to myself, if we're going to hang out for a while, then that's it. But on my way there, I kept getting this feeling, just go home, just go home. And I didn't. All this pep talk, and I still ended up doing the opposite. And I feel like sometimes our conscience is always tells us to do something, and we choose not to do it. And you prep yourself in a, in a way where it's just like, huh, how can I go about diverting myself into not listening to my conscience and actually doing something other than that? But long story short, I came to a conclusion that I should have taken my ass home. It was a shit show. I never saw him ever again after that. And it comes to show how much pep talks and how your conscience really helps. The divine intervention, I call it, really helps. Can save you from red flags and losing sight of what's really important. Also, it can help you realize what is good for your energy and not. And ever since that very moment, I decided my pep talks my conscience are really going to help in the long run might even save me from the zombie apocalypse who knows but for what is worth a nice heads up before doing something goes a long way so don't forget to give yourself a pep talk before you do anything to give you the courage that you need so i just wanted to get into that a little bit about you know having these kind of talks with ourselves and to spot the red flags and to understand that our conscience is here for a reason there's a difference between our egos and our our self-conscience and our self-conscience is that intuitive voice that tells us it's like a ding warning sign that tells us when something is about to happen and I've always been in this space where I get those feelings and I I just try to block them out and try not to acknowledge them. But as I've, you know, grown into the spirituality world and also into being the woman that I am today, I realize that it's only there to help me, not to kill me. I'm still alive because of my conscience. I'm still alive because I'm able to stand on my two feet grounded and understand that these things are here for a reason. We as people are here for a reason. And our purpose is not trying to find our purpose, but to live within our essence, in this purpose that we have of just being. And being in a sense of living life how we want to live. Not how society conformed us to be. Not how our parents might transpire to us to be. We are all individuals just trying to live the life in a way that we should and as we should. Some of us try to follow the trends, follow the crowds, and do things that other people do just because it's fun or they're going to get glorified in any way. Fuck the likes. Who cares if anybody likes your picture or not? If you like it, cool. But sometimes certain pictures are best shared with only you and only you. No one else. And there are days when, say like if I'm doing something and I'm enjoying myself, I really don't post any of the things that I enjoy. Because not everybody enjoys the same things that you enjoy. So why would I post something for what? Validation? That I did something that somebody else couldn't do? No. I feel like that's... That's the limitation that I've given myself now. That is where it comes to just telling myself, you know what? Self, me, her, she. That I don't have to please anybody. I don't have to live for anyone. I'm living for me in this moment, in this time. And I feel now more than ever, each and every one of you should be able to do the same. And I'm so glad that I have the voice that I have to be able to reach the many ears that are listening and that are thinking the same things that I'm thinking or going through some things that I'm going through and it be, are able to say, you know what? I know I'm not alone. And I know it's it's been a lonely journey, 
but I know I'm not walking alone. Always remember that. Even though you might technically be alone in a journey, you're not really alone. And there are other people that are going through the same thing as you. Everyone has a different experience, but you're not alone. So yeah, give yourself that pep talk. Keep reminding yourself that you are special in your own God-given way. And I do have some ways in which you can give yourself the pep talk that you need. The first one to remind yourself that it's not that deep. Always remind yourself that when you are about to do something or when you're thinking about something or if somebody aggravates you, always remember it's not that deep. It's not personal. Don't take it personal. Understand that people are not like you. You might find a a set of people or tribe that like the things that you do, but just remember not everybody is like you. So always remember that it's not that deep. Don't take it personal. The second thing is to raise your vibrations. Positivity is sound. Always keep your vibrations way, 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 way up because you do not want to be around someone that is positive and you're negative or you don't want to be negative around someone that's positive. So you always want to remember to keep your vibrations up, even in the darkest of times, just always remember that this too shall pass. And I know it's easier said than done. And I know some people are like, "Um, girl, I don't even know where I'm getting this money to pay this bill. I don't know how I'm gonna pay my rent. Let me tell you something. What I realized that all of these things, yes, are true. We all think it, how, when, why, where we all think it but if we just actually just sit and realize ask ask yourself this very question at this very moment at this very moment what is it that you really need what is it that you really lack of right now at this moment yes you don't have the money right now but what is it that you can do to obtain that money right now And if you can't do anything right now in that moment, the answer will come to you. But don't stress yourself out thinking, okay, I can't, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? If there is a way, when there's a will, there's a way. Trust and believe that, have faith in that. Always remember that. The third thing is thoughts can become reality. Like I said, you can be asking yourself, where am I gonna get this money? Listen, if you put it out there that God, spirits, angels, whomever that you believe believe in, just say to yourself, I'm going to get this money. This money is going to come. I'm going to pay these bills. I'm going to take this trip. I'm going to have this. I'm going to have that. If you think it to believe it, then it shall be. It shall come to reality. It shall be right there in your hand. No question. Think it to believe it. Your thoughts are your reality. When you think about negative things or how things are going to happen, it usually happens. So why not think the opposite? Why not think positive and raise your vibrations and say, you know what? I'm going to get this money. This money is going to come to me. I don't know how it is, but it is going to come. When you think in that light, best believe is going to come. The fourth thing, the only thing that matters is you. Yes, I'm going to say this again. The only thing that matters is you. And I know that might sound selfish. I know that might sound selfish. But at the end of the day, you have to take care of you. If you don't take care of you, who else is going to take care of you? if not you. So you have to be mindful of making sure that your inner being is well enough so that your outer being can be projected into the world and people can be inspired and love you the way you should and the way they do deserve. Always remember that you matter. You kindly matter. 
And number five, last but not least, let it go and detach. Let it flow, let it go. Do not worry about it. Send it out into the wind. Be like Pocahontas and say, colors of the wind. Yes, send it out. Do what you have to do, but let it go. Sometimes we take on so much shit and sometimes we take on other people's shit that we shouldn't be taking on and it becomes your shit and sometimes it becomes so overwhelming to the point where you just want to lash out and you want to just break shit don't don't do it let it go and detach understand that your problem is not their problem and their problem is not your problem you can only solve your problem when it's time for you to solve your problem. Don't be a hero. Don't be a hero. No, you are not Spider-Man. You are not Superman. You are not Wonder Woman. You are just a simple essence of this life force. And you can only do but so much. Do not oh, do not overwhelm yourself to the point where you are burnt out, especially when it comes into the workday. Please don't do it. My friend actually sent me a photo the other day of chairs looking like coffins in the office. And I just flew out when I saw that. It's the truth. We're literally sitting in our burial. We're literally sitting in our caskets. And I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I tell you, I will not be sitting in a casket. I I decided that a long time ago that I got to give myself pep talk sometimes. I have to tell myself, listen, <laughs> do you really want to be buried in this coffin? So-called desk? Life forever? No. So sometimes you just have to let it go and detach Sometimes you have to raise your vibrations and sometimes you just have to say, this is not it. And find something else that's going to make you happy and whatever it is, do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, find your peace, find your happiness and don't let anybody, anybody deprive you from it. Take the time to give yourself a little motivation. Also check out some TED Talks, motivational speeches, on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, because it does help. And sometimes we just need to be reminded that the best is yet to come. And we just have to dig a little deeper to find the strength to push forward. So keep giving yourself the pep talks you need to get you through this journey. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't, don't let what anyone else said to you affect you. You know, that person might have been in their lowest vibration and projected it onto you. And sometimes you just have to say, you know what? That ain't it. That's your opinion on how you feel about me, but I know who I am. And you just got to live in that essence. Always remember that. People are always going to label you something that you're not. And that's fine because I tell, I tell people, listen, if you're going to say whatever it is that you're going to say about me, Make sure you say the right thing and make sure you don't lie. I said what I said. Make sure you do not lie. Because I refuse to deal with people who want to label me something I'm not and then lie about something I'm not. And best believe karma does. Karma does come back and bite your ass. Pray on it. <laughs> but as you know, before I go, I always like to end my episode with a quote. So the quote of today is, accept yourself as you are. And that is the most difficult thing in the world because it goes against your training, education, and your culture. That it, that's, that's basically it. Love yourself. Be true to you. Don't let nobody else tell you who you're not. Like I said, people are going to say things about you that is not true. But as long as you don't get hasty and angry, oh, this is what you said about me? Okay. 
You know who you are. Don't let anybody define you for who you are not. Okay? Give yourself those pep talks that you need every single day. And baby, be strong. Be wise. Be beautiful. Don't let anybody fool you. Because only the fool can fool themselves. Understand? So with that being said, I hope that this episode has given you some type of positivity, some type of light where you can carry on through, through your day. As always, I'm sending out love and light. Mm -hmm.